Buonasera. <laughs> we are in Palermo and we are in Il Cabo Mercado. Beth and I have just had a little bit of a chat and a little bit of a wonder. We look exhausted. And we are a bit exhausted, <laughs> but it's a good exhausted. Um, mostly we've been chatting about me being here in a town which I feel so connected with and you probably can hear the talking and the people in the background but I feel just such a as I was saying to Beth I feel uh, like a tree that's had the roots stunted and all of a sudden when I come here that the caps taken off the roots and the roots are given that time to grow um, and in growing there's a real connection to the land and the people and it opens up in the other person talking to me they feel that connection as well have you felt that best oh absolutely yeah of course if you you're emotional talking about it and then you smile like a kid in a candy store I think they're the yeah. two indicators that you're in the right place <laughs> and yeah yeah um and, and you get awesome photos when carmela's in her place that's that's for sure yeah. yeah yeah it's all there we've had already what seven days uh, six so days today's the sixth day? we've had seven six days. days into the tour mm. and today we had a beautiful boat ride with bruno and beppe and they took us all around the um tyrrhenian part of palermo and we got to see some beautiful stuff and we didn't know that most of the um, <laughs> part of the beach that they had palaces all around the beach and the palaces <laughs> <laughs> the palaces around the beach were bombed in the time of the war and then they were all put in the water uh, in the in the Tyrrhenian Sea and from the Tyrrhenian Sea underground there's got bits and pieces of palazzos um, and up until two years ago they couldn't um, even go in the water and swim and now they've been doing a lot of cleaning up and a lot of people look at Palermo and they think oh no I don't want to go to Palermo it's dangerous and mafia uh, but it's not there's people with heart there's people with soul and there's people that care about the economy, they care about the future, and they want something for their children and their grandchildren, just like everybody in their own country wants. Um, and that's what's important. There are people here that have got anima, which means soul, and they care. And they care about the tourists. They care about everybody. Are you always got that one or two that don't? but the majority of them outweigh the one or two so i feel like you should come with me to <laughs> palermo next year yes uh, i'll let get a very special Beth experience have a little bit of a chat even a minute and you can just hear about what best best experience so far in palermo oh my experience so far in palermo has been completely connected to carmela and Absolutely, it's been so great to experience it through her eyes because it's not a normal kind of tour. Like we're sitting in a gutter right now. I don't think tour tour guides would do that. Yeah. You know, like, and we just went up to the market and bought things for breakfast in the morning, and she's been cooking. And yeah, it's also the bonus around it is the um, the the you are Sicilian like yeah. they kind of don't quite understand that she's actually Sicilian really in her roots and she can speak Sicilian and Italian so they, there's sort of a double take experience for the people that we've been dealing with restaurant owners and shopkeep owners and they've got the Bruno on the boat today and so sort of they're not they're not expecting actually that level of knowledge and ability to, to communicate so that it's like a, we're getting an inside experience, and it's so nice that it's a smaller group. Yeah. Then we've got re, we've got you up close and personal. You know, there's no distance feeling between you and us. It's we're all in this together. Yeah. 
Um, so it's a very, it's a unique time. I would say come next year and these next few years in particular because right now, like she's got, she's doing all the relationship building and we're close with her. And if you want to have that really amazing Sicilian experience, I'd say do it with Carmela. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, you've got nothing to lose. At the end of the day, if you want to have that unique um, culinary culture, um, that relationship <coughs> with the people that I can connect you with, and the relationship that I have with Palermo, I feel uh, such a connection and I feel like she calls me, you know, and so in that calling, um, there is a purpose. And the purpose is to make you feel her and you to also, what's the word I'm trying to find, to experience her through my eyes and as you experience through my eyes you actually get a relationship with her and you understand the people and how beautiful she really is. So, <laughs> what have you got to lose? <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.